Hi, my beauty lovers! You know what time it is? It's time for Valentine inspired makeup. So, subscribe! So, not to miss things I have for you makeup reviews, all the good stuff. And I'm Mona Ioana. Welcome, welcome back. Keep on watching to see how I got this look. Plus, stay because it keeps moving. And let us do foundation. I'm gonna use my Forest of the Sea. That's right, baby. Foundation. And look this brush. This is hourglass. A foundation brush. It's a good job. That's right. You gotta get your skin flawless for the Valentine's Day. Why am I talking like a little weirdo? And then, oh, definitely under eye action. So, what do I do with my under eye? Yeah, where are you? I'm gonna use Catrice Camouflage Cream and Light. Oh, actually, <laughs> an ivory. I'm sorry, Catrice. Number 10. All right, let's do this, baby. Okay, nice and blend. You know, fingers are good for anything, really. I need to lighten up my nose. So I'm using the Urban, oh, the Urban Decay Under Eye Primer. I've been loving this since I've been using Urban Decay, and it's been, uh, I don't know, 10 years maybe since I've been using it. Oh, 11? In a while. I just feel like a creative mood just because I have my wig purple in it. Now everybody's getting purple. You know, I bought this wig like 10 years ago. Once I did that, I'm going to bake my face. I don't know, I'm itchy. With RCA, RCMA, no color powder. You can say I'm a makeup junkie. But this thing is really good. And it lasts a long time. It is very reasonably priced. And my chin. My nose. Nose is the worst. Allergy season. I'm telling you. I think it's pretty damn good. And if you really want to spruce it up a little bit. What I would recommend. Especially when you're doing the eye. And you're messy eye. You know who you are. Then we are going, where is my little brush? I'm gonna put a little bit of it like this. That way, when it's messy, you can clean it up much easier. To find the edge here, you see? Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna lay my eyes kind of dark. Um, I would suggest before you actually use like a cream eyeliner to kind of do your crease. Because later it's gonna be a pain to take it off. I'm serious. I'm using a fluffy brush, and this one is Oiva 228. And I think I'm thinking. I like <laughs> I like those colors. They're pretty. But I really have my eye on this color right here. This is the Shoy, right? Like I said. But can't find me. So let me dip my paws into it. And then this is going to be my crease. It is not a subtle crease by any means. But we are experimenting. Or actually me, I am. This look isn't planned. It's just, let's see what I can do. Use a clean brush to just brush it out. Oh yeah, I like that. And the edges. And then we're going to do this eye as well. I've noticed one thing when I'm doing this makeup, somehow when I'm using a tiny bra um, mirror like this, I just, that's better. So I'm hoping we can do that really quick. Because, okay, yep, it's blended out, which I like. So we can go with my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Bean, Black Bean. Because I, I like it like that, you know. You can use any other pencil if you want. It's not easy to apply. And we got, I don't like to use my finger on the black one. So I am going to use my, that's my little thread brush. I guess this one will be good. It's 
kind of spread that out. Oh, it's a little messy. Okay, let's then do the server side, shall we? Blending is important because we want to blend those edges out. And don't worry if it comes off a little messy. I'm a, I'm a messy makeup person because we can clean it up at the end. Okay, so we blend that out, tiny bit out. You want to have like a metallic effect. There are some really good makeup we can use. Totally cute by Too Faced. Because it's freaking cute, but it has like this pink that I like. I'm mixing red and pink, I know, don't judge me. But then it's gonna be all messed up in a minute, don't worry. So I'm gonna use my red brush. That's a Weaver. Oh, that's Sigma. I can read the number. Use it a lot. Oh, that is a pretty pink. Okay. Pink and red. Start, I'm starting a trend. Oh, that looks good. What do y'all think? Like it? That color is so pretty. And it's a proper name for it. It's I Heart TF. It is TF pretty. And this is such a different eye combination for me. So I'm gonna blend a little bit here. It would be nice if my dog stop being annoying. What else can we add to it to make it even cooler? Well, I think Meow is calling my name. Meow is like this purple, that purple one that they have right here. It's calling my name and says, get on me. Well, actually, I want to get on you. Okay, that did not sound what I intended it to be. Ah, look at that. So damn pretty. My dogs are crazy. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's do the side. So if I'm, I'm using just a little dumb brush. Look at this. Like eyes of... Oh. Next, I'm, I think it's good to put some highlight on me. So I'm gonna use this unicorn color and highlight that area here right here as well in the inner corner of the eye mm-hmm come to mama sparkle again I like to blend this area super well I found Bing glitter this one is actually something I made sometimes I make things it's a pretty. It will go so well. Ooh, glitter glue by Too Faced. It's great. I love it. So let me put a little bit on. All right. So I'm gonna do the same fluffy brush, dip it in that pink, and then put it on my eyeballs. Oh. Oh yes. Can you say? Oh hey. <laughs> I don't know why glitter makes me so happy enough of glitter. I'm gonna clear up this area so we can do lower lash line and what we're gonna do with the lower lash line is you can go all crazy be my guest but I'm thinking I want to do a black eyeliner you know how I did so where's my there. So, oops this is what happens when you use a product so I'm gonna do my inner rim it kind of gets messy, so I'm gonna blast that out. It's a big one. See how it gets messy? That's for a reason. I'm doing this, okay? This is not. This is a reason. There is a reason. And now we got to smudge it. Smudge, smudge. See what I did just now? Okay, you see that? Alright. Now you know. Master at work. Yeah. And I'm gonna use the same flat, kind of flat looking brush, smudger really, to 28 by Zoeva. And dip it in my pink. And put that around, specifically concentrating in the middle part. Mm, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna do the outside, which is the same I have here. And let's go. 
and have fun with it. Ooh. You know, sometimes I, I do get carried away with makeup. So guess what? I just clean it up. Clean, 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 clean. Na 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 na. Mm. It's all about that makeup. Ooh la la. Okay, next thing we do need, I need to get closer, is eyeliner. And what am I gonna use for this one? It's a very good question. I think Galactic Beauty Precise Eyeliner Maker. It's been pretty good to me. Uh, if you haven't used this one, it's a really good eyeliner, very black. I'm just gonna get it out. Little flick, not too much. I did this eye, let's do the next. Mm hmm. Then, now what I'm gonna do, I already had a little bit of mascara off, I didn't take it off because it's a lazy day, but I still will put some more. Tarte Tarteus mascara is the bomb. And it doesn't matter because I put some falsies. So I'm gonna use Vegas Ney Grand Glamour. They really are fantastic. Like, if you don't have lashes, these will be very dramatic, for sure. Hey, yeah, my eyes are luring. Mm. So, I love my eyes. They look so good. But, we need to open them up more. So, if you want to open them up more with a pretty thing like this, you can. We are going to do the eyebrow. Well, I am going to do it. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hip Hip <laughs> Anastasia. I'm so sorry. Beverly Hill the brow. This is in soft brown, and I'm going to use my angle brush from Zoeva. Every time I call Zoeva or Zoeva, I really should know what to call it, but you know it. I am not defining my brows as precise and some of you do or you maybe don't do anything with it I don't know because it's supposed to be easy but you can already see it's taking nice shape out of it I like using my Beverly Hills um, this is clear brow 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 blow. I cannot talk brow gel just set them up nice contour time and I'm gonna use my Kat Von D shade and light palette here you are. It's just like a flat contour brush to define it. And I'm dipping in the first shade here on the side. Mm -hmm. Define a little bit of my cheek. Same thing on this side. Really want to have a nice define. And I'm going to do the darker one. Darkest one right there at the end. And here as well. Right there. All right, we're gonna blend that in a minute. So use the light one and go underneath my chin. Do this. I call it a fat face. Some people do this. This is a good workout for your, for you. But fat face. A little bit of nose. Some people like to do here. Now I have a small forehead, so I'm just gonna go a little bit on a parameter, and then I'm gonna take my big. Elf Kabuki brush. This thing is awesome. I'm just gonna go with the lighter one and apply that here. Contour even more and blend it. Come on, Chen, you need some action. Right there, too. Okay. <laughs> the hair would be nice if it stayed. After I do that, I'm gonna dip into my lighter shade. I think the pink one will be good. And I'm going to use just uh, like a highlighter brush from Zoeva. And let's go on my light. I kind of bring up the light into my face. A little bit here. I hope you can see that contour. I'm trying to make it a little bit stronger on TV. On TV. Because you watch me on TV on big screen. Okay. Oh, that's good. That is good. So now we need to do some highlight, baby. I'm using Vantage by Jessica Liebenskind. Uh, give me my last 
January Beauty Box. I drop stuff. And it has this pretty pink shade. And I'm gonna use my Morphe flat brush. Mm, let's see. I like it. It's not a gent saddle. But you can go more. That's right. Mm -hmm. Can you see this? Can you see this? And I'm gonna use this to kind of blend it out a little bit. Now, alternatively, you can go with Becca. That's right, Becca. I'm just gonna dab that on top. Mm -hmm. I feel like a sex on a stick. Let me get blush, and I wanna go like a softer blush by Inglot. That's a face blush. I don't know the number on this. Maybe 20 when I bought it. And I'm gonna use a contour kind of um, blush bl brush. I'm not even trouble with the beast today. Alright, so let's give my cheeks some glue. I really feel like I need to go more with that highlight here. Glow to the cheeks. Hmm, yes. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh. I'm going to do the lips. Hmm. Let's find those suckers. The lips. We gotta line those puppies. And what is the perfect pink color for brother guys? Is this one? This is by NYX. And what am I using? Dolly Pink. Oh yeah. Hmm, that is a pretty pink shade, but we're gonna top it off a little bit with this baby. This is Milani Matte Blissful 62. Aha. Uh -huh. But it wouldn't be Valentine's if we don't do a little heart tribute to Ife Trinket. And I'm gonna do a little heart. Can you see my gentle heart? The finale is to set this puppy. This is Heart Candy Hydrating Primer Mist. Whoa. There I go. Mwah. Ciao. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and watch for more cool stuff I'm gonna show.